Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Patrick Burns was born on this day, St. Patrick's Day, March 17th in 1837 in County Armagh, Ireland, the same year that Pope Gregory designated the Sea of Natchez. Burns' family was caught up in the Irish potato famine in the 1840s, and in 1857, Patrick Burns immigrated to America, entering the port of New Orleans. He found his way to Natchez, where he was employed at hard labor. Patrick joined the Confederate Army in 1862 and was captured and held prisoner for 22 months. Acting as church sexton, in 1865, Burns discovered a two-week-old infant girl abandoned in the vestibule of what was then Cathedral of Our Lady of Sorrows, today known as St. Mary Basilica. Two days later, the Reverend Charles Van Quecklenburg baptized the young girl as Mary Joseph Church, with Patrick as godfather. In 1870, at the age of 33, Patrick Burns became a citizen of the United States. Three years later, he borrowed money to start a small but very successful bakery, and by 18, 1876, he had established a mercantile at Pine and St. Catherine Streets, the Triangle. It was there that Burns started his shoe business, offering a large inventory of boots and shoes to Natchez. In 1893, he moved his shoe business to the 400 block of Main Street. Patrick Burns began the custom of giving out shamrocks in Natchez on St. Patrick's Day a tradition that continued until Burns Shoe Store closed in 1998. Patrick Burns died on his birthday, March 17, 1909, the feast day of St. Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland. I'm Peter Burns, Jr., Adams County tax collector, great-grandson of Patrick Burns, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.